Hello, friends, and welcome to the final episode of our Tale of Two Wastelands Legionary Challenge. We've beaten the main story of Fallout 3 as a recruit legionary, and we're about to tackle the final battle of Fallout New Vegas, just like we did in Fallout 3. All the same rules. If you're new here, well, I'd, uh, I would, I would suggest going back a bit earlier so you can follow us on our journey. See how our legionary got to this point, although... If you like, to, if you like to jump ahead, that's perfectly fine too. Love to have you either way. Now, what this means is that we have. When I say we have to beat the game as a recruit legionary, I mean. Well, it's, I suppose that's literal. But how I made this work is because we started in Fallout Three. I had to console command in some legion recruit armor because obviously there's no Caesar's Legion out in the Capital Wasteland. So put that on, and all we had was that and the weapons available to us. Now, you'll see that list here, right here where the mouse is wiggling up and down. Stuff like the 10mm pistol, the 9mm, the machete, varmint rifle, etc. Now, I have a personal house rule when it comes to runs like this. Anything that you see on screen that's available to us, we can use any variant of the, of the available weapon. For example, 9mm means that we can use a Maria. Let's go ahead and... I don't think we'll need a text, so we can probably hold off on that. N uh, yeah, 9mm means we can use Maria. Police pistol is a 357, which we get from Dead Money. Now, we didn't do Dead Money. We actually found this back in the Capital Wasteland. We got a super good roll on our loot. And we have our basic machete. However, we do have the Liberator, which is a named machete. And we got that from Dead Sea after we helped him take over Camp Forlorn Hope. And the Silence 10mm pistol? Well, I mean, it's in the name. So, of course, we can use that. Oh, what else? Now, this rule doesn't really matter too much anymore, but we were allowed to travel the Wasteland. And, well, hold on. We were allowed to travel the Wasteland outside of our armor. Wow, I, I, had, a, I had a Kaisar brain moment there. And reason for that is because to get, in order to gain access to certain quests, being disguised as a Legion recruit means that we'd be, we would be hostile to any, any NPCs who are tagged as either NCR or affiliated with them. So we were allowed to run around in, in an outfit of our choosing. I actually ran around in the good Colonel Autumn's uniform for quite a while. And then I saw the Ranger's outfit and I was like, nah, this is better. We're going to go with this. It's more fitting. And last thing to cover here is that in addition to our restrictions as a Legionary in terms of what we're able to use in combat, this also extends to alcohol and chems. We are a bit in character in this show. And the reason why I am banning chems and alcohol from this from this entire Let's Play, is because Kaisar bans the use of alcohol and chems to his legionaries, so we're going to do the same. However, there is one exception to the rule, and that exception is Hydra. Hydra is, I believe, a legion product. It's either a legion product or the legionaries are allowed to use it because Hydra can be found on legionaries. And Hydra is basically a liquid form of a doctor's bag. Oh, one second. Uh, I will sneeze there. And one thing we are allowed to do that legionaries typically are not is make use of, of certain medicinal items, doctor's bags, rad X, right away, stim packs, etc. That's because we have to be able to maintain ourselves to some capacity. And if we were to flat out ban anything medicinal, which would include visiting doctors, the run becomes maybe not impossible. But if you beat it, you might want to go buy a lottery ticket afterwards. In other words, I don't have faith on my own ability to pull that off, so I gave myself this little bit of wiggle room. Fallout 3 was pretty tough as a as a uh, recruit legionary. I will reserve I will hold judgment on Fallout New Vegas until we complete the main story. Although I will say overall if I'm comparing non-final battles here, I do anticipate Hoover Dam being tougher than Jefferson Memorial. There's no big awesome murder bot to help us to victory. That out of the with all that out of the way, my friends, sit back and enjoy the show. And one more thing before we start is that I'll have something very special planned for the end of this. We'll have our ending slide at, you know, provided we beat the game. But there's going to be a little something special afterwards. A special preview of something I have in mind for a little bit later on. As for what that is, well, you'll find out in good time, my friends. Let's go. My forces are in a position to assault the dam. Legatus Linnaeus has assumed command. Are you ready to go to him? to tell him to begin the assault. It would be my honor to fight for your legion, Kaisar. Good. 
In hoc signo Taurus vinces. Report to Legatus Lanius immediately. He'll brief you on the plan of battle. Come back victorious, or don't come back. Hmm. You are committing to fight with Kaisar's Legion at the Battle for Hoover Dam, which will determine the fate of New Vegas for decades to come. If there's anything you want to do before you enter the battle, do it now. Before you cross the point of no return. Let's do this. Hmm. Alright. Kind of want to go, go as our Frumentari self here. Although, showing up in President Kimball's outfit would be pretty awesome. Huh. So, this is the Leggett's camp. Oh my god. Marjorie, stop. If you want me to stop by that badly after the battle, yes, I will stop by. Oh, the, oh, the audacity of this woman. Uh, she literally will not stop messaging me on my pit boy. What have I done to deserve this? I'm trying to fight a war here. Foolish woman. I didn't even th I didn't even think she was into me. Apparently she is. We only spoke like once. Creepy woman. Oh well. Let let's go visit Lanius. Legato, a stranger arrives. One who bears the mark. Finally. Mars has accepted my sacrifices and unleashes me. You are the courier Lord Kaisar has spoken of. The slaughter begins then. Ah, uh, good to good to finally see you, Legate. Heard much about you, but uh, we don't have any time for pleasantries. Tell me a bit. However, I need to know a bit about your battle strength before we proceed. I am the commander of this army. The son of Mars has granted me the name Lanius, and the time to serve him has come once more. I see. Well then, Legate, how do you propose we deal with the NCR? In the past, the NCR has relied upon attrition, withering our numbers with ranged fire and falling back as necessary. Not this time. The dam contains tunnels to its heart, overlooked by the NCR now occupied by the Legion. When the battle begins, the NCR will find our teeth at their throats in a dozen places. There will be no attrition, no falling back, only carnage. What would you have me do? Our forces are better equipped to take objectives than hold them. I do not wish to defend this place if another option exists. Our opponents follow a strict chain of command, which is both a strength and weakness. I intend to use you to strike at that weakness. Find the enemy commander, this General Oliver. Kill him or his resolve. Do this and his cowards will retreat, leaving the dam to us. Ah, uh, I like the sound of that. I do have a couple more questions first. Then ask them. The battle draws near. What does Lanius mean? The word means butcher in Latin. I was granted the name after proving myself in several battles. Perhaps after today's battle, you too will earn yourself a new name. Ah, but I have the capital wasteland legionary. I do hope you're looking forward to this battle as much as I am. I live to serve Kaisar's will, and the will of the Legion. If my victory serves them both, then I am pleased. Ah, the Legion is a lot more mellow than... Legend has it. Rather a joy in conversation with him, actually. What's your opinion on the profligates? They are passable foes. Like their citizens, they prefer their war from a distance, and at that, they excel. Their leaders have on occasion shown brilliance. Their rangers in particular have adapted well to our strategies. But their rangers are few, and this General Oliver we face is not their best. I regret not being able to face Hanlon, the one who led them last time. Ha. <laughs> ah, uh, yes, I saw to that. What do you think our chances are? I'm feeling rather good myself. Their men take comfort in, and rely on, killing at a distance. 
They will not have the luxury of such comforts this time. Our warriors will wash over them in a tide of blood, severing arms before they can attack, legs before they can run, and heads before they can pray. So yes, fortune favors our chances, messenger, provided you move quickly. <laughs> oh, we're going to get along just fine, Leggett. What can you tell me about the layout of the dam? I didn't have much of a chance to examine it myself. It was not intended for war. Its top sides are bound to two intake towers by a series of bridges. No doubt snipers nest there. On the far side of the dam, a small building provides access to the power plant below. That is where Oliver hides. Of course. Of course. Well, I'm ready to deal with this Oliver now. If you are. Mars's eyes are upon you. Do not fail him. Or us. Wouldn't dream of it. Ah, perfect timing. Excellent. Um. Mm, yeah, F it, let's go. What can we take? Home on the ring. Oh, that's cute. I do like that, but obviously we're not going to use that for the end of the game. Um, Tribal Wisdom. Nah, don't need it. Not bad, but too late for it. Ah, them's good eating. It's only at 55. What's... Actually, we're going to go back then. We have nine points we can spend. Um... Yeah, yeah, that's right. It's it's for our healing. So yeah, let's uh, let's go forward with it. Them's good eating. Absolutely, we want that. That'll just be better for us. Hey, puppies! Ah, oh, yay! Excellent. Let's see, ready to beauty. Oh, cool. Cool. All right, let's go. Veni, vidi, visi. All right. Who would have thought the two legionaries of the East? The, the butcher of the East. The capital wasteland legionary. Joining forces. Stop messaging me, Marjorie. Oh, my. <sighs> oh, my. I give up. You know what? If that is what she really wants, after we're done here, I suppose I can pay her a visit. No harm in it, I suppose. Crazy wench. All right. We will see that the camp is protected from NCR assassins. Good. Here we go. All right. First things first. What's wrong, coward? Hiding? Come on, boy. Ah, uh, he thought his little stim pack would save him. <laughs> I think not. Where are you running to, boy? <laughs> ah, it's like taking candy from a baby. I believe that's the Capital Wasteland saying. Hmm. 
Very well. I think we're done here. Too easy. Salway courier. How goes the battle in the east? The area is secure. The enemy is much for much more fortified ahead and have snipers set up at key positions which keep our men pinned down. In addition, they have managed to beat our men back, emerging from the intake tower and secure it. Okay. If we get rid of the damn snipers or release our waiting men in the intake tower, we'd have the manpower to storm their positions. I'll see what I can do. Any assistance you provide is welcome, and will mean more if our men can carve through the foe by your side. Alright then. Ah. Uh. I bet that was young Pete. Ah, <laughs> uh, I know that boy was all excited. I would be too in his position. No, there's nothing quite like killing profligate scum. Ah, uh, the stealth boy wore off. No big. Hold on. My goodness. Gotcha. Eh, passable accuracy, I guess. Huh. What about in here? Activate the terminal. Unlock. Ah, the outsider who gained our master's favor. You prove yourself as cunning as the rumors report. Newest Kantarian, what are your standing orders? My men await in the tunnel below. I'm to divide them between the dam top and the tunnels that lead to the western power plant. I have to keep moving. Kill a few of them for me. More than a few if I have my way. <laughs> ah, this is what this is what I've been waiting for. So many years. So many years. Hmm. Gotcha. Ha. Pathetic. I teach you to mess with me. Exactly. Ah, see, the boomers are doing quite well with their howitz, sir. With our howitzer, I should say. <laughs> our howitzer is doing quite well. Ah, memories. Damn it. I don't think so, fool. Uh oh. Uh, the impact threw off my aim a bit. No matter. Plenty. I need to go around. There we go. That'll help. Ah. I'm surprised the coward showed himself. I've got you now. Ah, perfect. It's just you and I. Ooh, they do hurt quite a bit. Okay. Uh, super stimmy, absolutely. More purified water. More of that, that, that. We're saving our Nuka Cola. Uh, Quartzes for the inside, for sure. Get some. Ha! Oh, uh, we're shunned again. Isn't that sad? Ooh. 
Oh, ho, 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 ho. Yes. I should be looting these bodies, too. That's how you get this. Hmm. Where are the cons? Aren't they supposed to be here? Hmm, maybe they're already dead. No matter. No matter. Let's go. Oh. I've got you now. I've got you now. That that's the best their mighty power armor could do. <laughs> what a joke. Oh, it'd be funny if it wasn't so pathetic. Come on, boy. Oh, I'd rather hear James call me his son. This is... <laughs> this is pathetic. <laughs> Actually, I probably shouldn't say that because that might just start happening. No, I stand by it. I think I hate these. I hate. I think I hate these power. These fake power armor wielders more than James. And that that just can't. That cannot stand. That cannot stand. All right. Here we go. Ah, my brother is excellent. Hmm. Does anybody else feel like we've overprepared for this? Or is it just me? Well, more fun either way. Come here, fool. Uh oh. <laughs> Blood sausage. Hey, purified water. Too sweet. Fresh carrot. Yes. Excellent. Ah, oh, this is sad. Uh, if, it were, if it were anybody else, I might feel a smidgen of pity. Not for these clowns, though. Let's go. I've got you now. I think you. I don't think you do. All right. Is this it? Ah, uh, this is... Nah, nah, I changed my mind. Ugh, Marjorie, stop calling me. I'll be done with the NCR shortly. Ah. More of their veteran rangers. <laughs> How cute. Ah, uh, check my messages here in a minute. My goodness. Is it... I heard... I heard rumors that this is what it was like in the pre-war. Ah, one of my brothers fell. Pity. Well, allow me to pick up the slack. Pathetic. Come here, you. Ha! <laughs> ah, uh, you call yourself a warrior. Veteran, huh? Hey, better drink. Haven't had one of those since, like, the very beginning of the show. Two blood sausage. Oh, baby, we're good. Rosarius, this pit boy is just littered with messages. Call me. Why aren't you calling me? I never knew this woman was so needy. <sighs> Whatever. Oh. Hmm. Well, I don't want. I don't want any profligates to survive. Indeed. Oh, that's beautiful. Come on. Come on, Ranger. What's wrong, hotshot? How <laughs> pathetic. Hmm. Ah, oh, this... I don't know what to think of this. Besides, besides it being humorous, of course. Well, let's get out of here. Next level. Here we go. 
Ah, they're on ground level with us. I'm legitimately surprised. Oh. Too easy. Pathetic. Got me from behind and still. Well, I might as well see how. Check myself here. Good, good. Good. Alright. Use one more. Saving all of our best stuff for what's what's to come. Actually, I'm gonna I'm gonna drop these mentats. Because I don't want to risk using them. Same goes with any chems we have on us. Ah! Look at you. Look who grew up here. <laughs> Death by a misclick. I love when that happens. Huh. One more. Come here, ranger. No. Oh, you're not a ranger. Huh, my mistake. Not even worthy of that trash. Oh. Ah, below me. I think, yes. Alright, here we go. Another kill to my name! Where is the where is this profit scum? Oh, hello. Whoop. I almost hit our buddy there. Didn't want that. Huh. Over here. Yes, I see you. Rather eager to die, aren't you? Okay, I'm a, I'm a bit, I, I grow my, I grow tired of this little charade. Oh, he wished to fight me in close quarters. Ha, <laughs> gotcha. Time to heal. Red paste. Oh, we still got our wasteland hot dog from the beginning. We kept it carefully preserved for just such an occasion. Hmm. Let's go. So you must be the courier the reports mentioned. Pass this message on to your commander. Hoover Dam will not fall while I still draw breath. Uh, Oliver, you're you gotta put your hat on, you fool. But hey. As you said, until until you're dead. That's why I'm here. Fool, we fortified this place to hold out indefinitely against an army. What chance do you think you have? Let's. Why don't you come find out? Ah. Okay. Cool. Cool. Purified water. Then red paste. Ah, uh, either extremely brave or extremely foolish. You can never, you can never tell with these problems. I think. <laughs> huh. Get him, boys. Huh. Okay. I think I have it figured out now. Ah, uh, they think they're clever. Ah, oh, stealing, stealing fast drinks on the eve of battle, just so heinous. Ha. <laughs> well, this is... I've never seen anything so pathetic in all my life. 
I had to have Fox drag me out when we fought the Enclave at... Huh? Oh, it's quiet. Too quiet. I don't like this. Close call there. Ooh. It's very nice of him. Quite kind, if I do say so much. Ah. Ooh, that hurt. Wow, that really hurt. Yeah, those guys are no joke. How are we looking? Yeah, make sure we're nice and heal thy. Ha uh, about boy. Ah, anti-material rifle, yeah, that would do it. Alright, time to save. First things first. Oh, hang on, my uh obs is messing up. Just a sec. Okay. There we go. It was on duration 850 MS for some reason or rather. Not sure why that happened, but whatever. Okay. See, there doesn't seem to be anything else here. Uh, where is that fool hiding? Ah, excellent. Well, we can go ahead and... Repair Liberator. Repair Maria. Alright. Alright, let's see if we can... If we can't dispose of this filthy rat. Come on. I'm hit. I'm hit. Hmm. Rat Slayer. What an appropriate name. Ah, here we go. Huh. What was that, you fool? Woo! That was interesting. Okay, so... Today's physician, Chivalry. Where's, uh, Lad's life at? Lad's life, and starting with our healing, Thin Red Paste, Super Stim Pack, Sunset Sarsaparilla, Stim Pack, Purified water, Nuka Cola Quartz, Nuka Cola itself. There we go. Grilled Mantis. Bitter drink. Last but not least. Oh, Yagwai meat. I haven't used this at all this run. What the hell's Ronda with me? Damage buff and. No, we're saving that for the road. How cute. Ha! Gotta try your luck, coward. Come on. Ah, I can hear the fool coming. You know, I have I have a woman who got the frequency of my pit boy, and I find her to be more challenging than you. 
because she won't actually leave me alone. <laughs> One more. Ah, there's a two. Well then. The NCR's mighty power armor. The, the vault girl was harder to kill than these clowns. <laughs> hey, boy, guess what? <laughs> oh, that was wonderful. Okay. We're done here. You're pathetic. Wait, where's that Oliver clown? Yeah, I want his stuff as a trophy. There we go. Perhaps I can serve him to margarine a platter. Alright. I think we're done here. Ah. Victory tastes so sweet. And I didn't even have to use my hot dog. I can have that for whatever adventure I go on next. Ah, disappointing, the NCR, but not unexpected. Where, oh where, is that staircase? Ah, here we go. Hmm. Alright. You did well, brothers. We shall see to burning you on the pyres later. This slaughter pleases me. No act is more sacred than consecrating a site in the blood of one's enemies. The rest of the dam is fully under our control. A few pitiful holdouts remain, but their time is short. The general was the last source of concern. Not really. With their commander dead, the NCR will pull out of this region, allowing our conquest to continue westward, unopposed for a time. The Legion will swell with the number of slaves we will claim from this place, and the tribute we gather will fund further campaigns. Perhaps in time, I will be granted the honor of conquering the land known as California. But for now, we rest. Know that your efforts are appreciated and will not go unrewarded, but we can speak of that later. For now, come. We must see to the burning of the dead. Hmm. <laughs> And so the courier who had cheated death in the cemetery outside Good Springs cheated death once again, and the Mojave Wasteland was forever changed. Caesar entered the Strip as though it was his triumph. The Legion pushed the NCR out of New Vegas entirely, driving them back to the Mojave Outpost. The Legion occupied all major locations, enslaving much of the population and peacefully lording over the rest. Under the Legion's banner, civilization, unforgiving as it was, finally came to the Mojave Wasteland. The Legion marched over the Hoover Dam with the help of one who was as brutal and merciless as the worst of them, the Courier. Caesar honored him with a golden coin, minted in celebration of his contributions and distributed throughout the Wasteland. Cautious after the Boomer's display of power at Hoover Dam, Caesar chose to leave the Boomers alone. The boomers remained isolated, but have been seen flying over the Mojave Desert from time to time. Buried beneath tons of rubble, the Mojave chapter of the Brotherhood of Steel was no more. Those few who were outside the Hidden Valley bunker when it was destroyed, settled into new lives, or headed west to find a new chapter to join. At odds with leadership over the Brotherhood's future, Veronica looked to the Mojave Wasteland for an answer both she and they could live with. But the answer would never come, and the dangers of the world that had left the Brotherhood of Steel behind would eventually claim her life. The Fiends attacked Camp McCarran during the Second Battle of Hoover Dam and suffered heavy losses. Caesar, unimpressed with their performance and their dependence on chems, had them exterminated. After the Legion's victory, Caesar, out of a strange respect for his old fellows, allowed the followers safe passage out of the wasteland. 
Reluctantly, the followers accepted the offer and abandoned Old Mormon Fort to the Legion. The Legion, preoccupied with its acquisition of New Vegas, scarcely took notice of the town of Good Springs. Many locals moved on, fearful of Caesar's long shadow. Only the old and the stubborn remained. As reward for their loyal service, Caesar forcibly integrated the Great Khans into the Legion. The sick and elderly were killed, the women sold as wives to ranking officers, and the tribe's identity was annihilated. Though many Great Khans mourned the death of their tribe, many more were ultimately satisfied with their revenge against NCR. Impressed with the King's continued attacks upon NCR citizens and soldiers, the Legion offered them the option of being assimilated into the Legion. The Kings refused and briefly became slaves in the Legion, but after a failed escape attempt, they were all put to death. During the Legion's attack on Novak, bright followers returning from their long pilgrimage assisted in its evacuation. Though Novak eventually fell to the Legion, many citizens of Novak were able to escape, alive and intact. After Hoover Dam, the leaderless powder gangers at the correctional facility vanished into the wastes, leaving the prison empty. The correctional facility became another abandoned ruin in the wasteland, its carcass occasionally picked over by enterprising prospectors. With Cook dead, the powder gangers at Vault 19 fell apart. Those who weren't destroyed by the courier fled into the hills or attempted to work their way back through the Mojave wasteland. Few survived. After the death of Chief Hanlon, the power of NCR's rangers was broken for years. Their organization, so reliant on the wisdom and guidance of its elder members, became a shadow of what it once was to people across the wasteland. And so the Courier's Road came to an end, for now. In the new world of the Mojave Wasteland, fighting continued, blood was spilled, and many lived and died just as they had in the old world. Because war, war never changes. Hello there, friends, and thank you so, so much for watching Capital Wasteland Legionary. Tell it to Wasteland Legionary. I don't know, I, I, Capital Wasteland Legionary. I'm more partial to that, so we're gonna go with that. For those of you who made it this far, well, we get to enjoy a fun bonus ending. We're gonna go ahead and explore Union Station from the side of New Vegas. That's located in Freeside, by the way. And honestly, I find it to be the most appropriate place for Union Station. Like, in the Capital Wasteland, it's stuck away in D.C. You know, D.C.'s all ruined and whatnot. The Freeside? Well, Freeside might be run down, but it is much, much better than D.C., well, at least as far as living conditions are concerned. And hey, might as well travel back to the Capital Wasteland, right? I mean, we got a lot of pre-war books to sell. Or, uh, <laughs> not, not sell. Give to Scribe Yearling. And now one thing I can tell you is that this little bonus ending, though fun, there's, um... There's a little method behind the madness, if you will. Now, you'll notice by Marjorie not constantly blowing up Razarius' pit boy because I guess she got a hold of the frequency somehow. That I did, in fact, load a previous save. I had made a third save right after we took out Benny. But yeah, we're inside of Union Station now, and as you can see, it's a, um... It's a lot safer than the one back in the Capital Wasteland. Personally, I like that it's different from what we get back in DC. There's more variety to it. And I'll tell you this, that door we unlocked, that's the first time I've ever done this, because I always have the science check needed to just get there. I did mention back in episode 18 that you could use science to hack the terminal to pay in bottle caps instead. Yeah, I misspoke there. That was me remembering an earlier version of Tale of Two Wastelands where you could science hack the terminal, but you would replace the, um, the pre-war money, the $100, with I think it was 200 bottle caps. Now, as far as this Let's Play goes, this is a project I've been wanting to get completed for a long time now. I figured that playing as a Recruit Legionary would be the most challenging out of the units that we can play as, and if you've watched my Faction Warriors runs, it makes a little bit more sense when I talk about the units I would play as. Like the NCR Trooper, for example, they have medium armor, which is ironically about on par with a Recruit Legionary set of armor in terms of protection, and you move a bit slower, so that would be a bit of a drawback. However, the NCR Trooper has a pretty solid variety as far as its arsenal is concerned, and of course, there's no banning the use of alcohol or chems. Great Cons and Powder Gangers did cross my mind as well, 
But again, but the whole um the whole allowing the use of alcohol and chems is ultimately what pushed me away from them and had me going towards the Legion because the idea of banning chems and alcohol really does add an extra layer of challenge. Losing out on stuff like Psycho, Slasher, Steady, Med X, the like. Now, of course you don't need chems to, you know, play the game or anything. However, not having them available at all, it forces you to improvise a little bit, and I thought that was really fun. It's pretty funny, actually, because the Yaogwai meat that we got back in the Capital Wasteland. Only time we ever used it was, well, in this episode in the final battle. I myself tend to be a bit more frugal as far as my inventory is concerned. And speaking of inventory, what was available to us as a recruit legionary... Well, considering my own personal house rule where I allow the use of any variant of a weapon available to us... Well, that, uh, that list of weapons became a lot more appealing. I mean, Liberator was awesome to use. The Silence 10mm was a real homie throughout this playthrough in both wastelands. And I'll be honest, I wasn't expecting to use it. I was expecting to slap a silencer on the weathered 10mm pistol and just rock out with that. But, well, uh, that didn't happen. Now, if we were to hang out in the Mojave Wasteland and get our lock picking up to 75, then we could go back to the Bison Steve and get lucky from the safe. I'm pretty sure it's in the Bison Steve anyway. However, we got that sweet fuzz pistol, the, uh, the Dead Money 357. But yeah, getting back to Union Station here, again, I mentioned before, I like the difference in design between the one here in the Mojave and the one in the Capital Wasteland. The one here in Freeside makes me think of a place where you could actually envision squatters and folks who are down on their luck just hanging out here, having a roof over their head, stuff like that. There's no danger to be had here, and I'm very much okay with that. I think our Legionary deserves a bit of a rest after everything he's been through. Although I would say Razarius wouldn't call it something he's been through, because I'd say he enjoyed his little adventures. And one of my goals for this Let's Play was to play as a Legionary that had some uh, character development, if you will. He is a bit different from his journey in the Capital Wasteland to the time he gets back to the Mojave. You know, in episode 18, when he hesitates to hit the switch on the train to go to New Vegas. I mean, you gotta think, out in the Capital Wasteland, Razarius had become somebody. He wasn't just some soldier. He made a difference. I mean, granted, the difference in the Wasteland was mostly bad for its inhabitants, although not so much for people like Protector Kasdan, although he really needs to wash his damn armor, doesn't he? President Dave of the Republic of Dave, Roy Phillips at Tenpenny Tower... And hey, by the time this goes up, well, a little interesting fact is that the units we're playing as in Faction Warriors at the moment, every one of them, except for our last one, is an ally of Razarius in our Capital Wasteland Legionary series. I actually didn't plan for that, it just kind of turned out that way based on units I was choosing, and it's kind of awesome. It's like a nice little full circle feel, you know? Well, I hope that you guys have enjoyed the New Vegas side of Union Station. Again, small, no danger, but nice, kind of relaxing in a way. And now, I would say that this is a nice little way to end our series. However, I have something a little more in mind once we get done with on the train here. Now, as far as future content goes, I do have a couple of challenge videos on the backlog. I actually want to work on one that's centered in Fallout 3 but with a character from the Mojave Wasteland. And I'm thinking after that, I'll uninstall Tale of Two Wastelands for a time so that I can focus on content exclusive to Fallout 3 and Fallout New Vegas. Ah, you see that? Folks who stick around after the ending slide get a sneak peek of the good stuff. Uh, thank you guys so, so much once again for watching this Let's Play. I had a ton of fun with it. And I think I'm gonna just let Razarius take it from here. Alright, Legionary, you're up. Uh, another damn vault. Well, that one was a bust. Nothing in there but frozen pods, rad roaches, and what I can assume to be a deceased couple. Looks like one of them died inside of the pod, and the other one was shot. Ah, uh, Gracchus might find it interesting. The poor kid's been under quite a bit of stress lately. Uh, this commonwealth isn't so bad. Uh, there was no wasteland quite like the capital wasteland. 
Though here in Boston, there's, um, there's no shortage of danger. I like it. Wait, is that Gracchus? Is he sleeping on the job? Quite an odd spot to lay down, wouldn't you say? Wait, is that Gracchus? What the hell happened to him? Oh, no. What? Who the... Who did this to him? But why, why would he do this to himself? It seems he's left a note. Was that... Is that for me? My name is Gracchus, Decanus of Caesar's Red Legion. I have walked so far. I have nowhere to go. My home is gone. The bearers tread all over it. My cohort lies dead in Flagstaff. My legion is scattered. I will never escape the bearer and its profane vandals. I shall reclaim my honor and rejoin Kaisar in the next life for a new conquest. Vale, Saeva Nundi. Gracchus. I liked the man. Watched him grow into one. I look at him and sometimes think of how I started off in the capital wasteland all those years ago. Of the Contrabernia I found myself commanding, he was the first to join me on the journey east. He was one of the few recruits who had survived the infestation of super mutants who had taken up residence when I returned to the DC area. Four of my men didn't even make it out of Union Station, and despite my warnings, most of them did die in the capital wasteland years ago. Ursus, a good friend, stayed behind to keep that Phillips guy in check. Frankly, I'm surprised that guy remained loyal after all these years. However, that would be the last of my adventures with Ursus, you see. He himself had become a ghoul, and although that didn't matter to me, he didn't want to leave the safety of Tenpenny Tower, the safety of DC. So, it was just Gracchus and I who had made way for the Commonwealth. Gracchus was the one who discovered the radio frequency for a strange place called Nuka World, and we were going to go there together. But I missed the signs, even though they were right there in front of me. How did we get here in the first place? Well, though we wanted Hoover Dam, Though I saved Kaisar, it only delayed the inevitable. Once he succumbed to old age, the Legion fell apart to infighting, just like the Republic, just like the profligates. Once that happened, I had no plans to stick around. Though I liked the Legate personally, just like him, I never wanted to be a leader. I only wanted what was best for the Legion, and he led it to its doom. Sure, there are small, warring bands who like to call themselves the Legion, but as far as I know, now... I'm the only unsullied one who remains. Stay tuned for our next Let's Play, the Commonwealth Legionary. See you there. Yeah, we're gonna tackle Fallout 4 as Razeris. That's gonna be a lot of fun. Now, this is gonna take a bit of planning out because, well, the list of weapons and apparel available to us, well, we had to mod in Legion gear, which, credit for that awesome mod is in the description. Please check that out and give that guy some sweet, sweet credit. But since stuff like the Varmint Rifle isn't in Fallout 4, I gotta come up with some equivalents. And you may be pleased to know that I already have that part figured out. See you at our next Fallout-based Let's Play, Fallout 4, as a Recruit Legionary. I'll see you guys there. Wale.